good morning. It is a travel day and we are currently at Sandy Beach Campground just a little south of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. We got in here yesterday afternoon, fairly mellow drive day and are heading up to Door County, Wisconsin and should be there this afternoon. Um, like I said yesterday was pretty mellow. Probably the only thing was it was the first day that we loaded up the e-bikes So that took a little longer than expected. I think we probably wrestled those for about an hour until we finally got all that straightened out but That got straightened out. We got up here and I will say Iowa your roads are still awful however, the fifth wheel with the Gen Y gooseneck on it smoothed them out a lot better than what we did with the uh bumper pool last year so anyhow looking forward to this next week in wisconsin so we are here with dan and becky from bugs on the windshield so it should be a really good time and we will see you all once we get there all right so we're not quite in wisconsin we actually are about probably five miles from the campground uh, Dan Becky unfortunately had a little suspension issue so we're getting that knocked out. Luckily we found a tech that can uh, weld this up here on Sunday so that is wonderful and actually we're thinking right now we'll be back out on the road in a couple hours. So stick around we'll see how that goes. What are you goopers doing? Howdy howdy we are looking at the fix. Yep. So that is. And is it fixed? It is fixed. Uh, what did it take you? Hour and a half, two hours? It was, you see, seven hours. That's good. Yep. So now we have made it to Wisconsin. Woohoo! All right. So, yeah, it's been an interesting trip up. So, first we were working on Dan Becky's rig. Now I've got a low tire. So, we are pulled over swapping this guy out. But, uh, well, one of these days we may actually make it to our campground up in Door County. We're, fingers crossed, we're gonna get there. That was probably the world's quickest tire change. Thanks to Dan out here helping me with that. So we got that all done. Now, time to hit the road again and hopefully get to our destination. All right, we made it. It was an 11 and a half hour drive on a five and a half hour drive day. So anyhow, we are beat. We got to set everything up. So we will catch you again in the morning. All right, so we survived yesterday, got some sleep last night. And so today we are up and we're exploring Algoma, Wisconsin, right here on Lake Michigan. So it looks pretty gorgeous from right here. So I'm interested to see what the rest of the town looks like. break something. I know. All right, so this is absolutely bizarre, but I had to show you all this. There are little dead fish all over this beach. I did, we were walking the boardwalk and I come down here, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> so yeah, I had to show you. Good morning. We are up in Door County this morning. We It's a little bit rainy, so it's a good day to go in and check out some distilleries and wineries. So we're starting out, I think it's called the Door Peninsula Distillery or Door County Distillery, something to that effect. I think it's Door County Distillery. All right, so we're gonna go check that out. So come along.
All right, we got some food in us. Uh, the whiskey and whatnot at the distillery on empty stomach didn't do the greatest. Uh, so we're good to go now. We were at door 44 winery and go see what it's like. Yep. Let's go. Pedro. Hello. Not too bad, and you? Good, have you been here before? We have not. This one was in the top 40 out of more than 2,000 winery. Winery one down. Winery one was okay, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> I thought they were nice in there, though. Right, very nice. Camera. Off to the next one. All right, we are back where we started earlier. This time, though, it, we're going to the uh, Door Peninsula Winery which happens to be in the same building as the... Distillery. Yes. So we're gonna go check it out. We, we need a little break between the two earlier and get some food. So now that we've done that, we are back. Fudge uh, sampling. All right, now winery number three for the afternoon, maybe? Lost count? Yeah, because Not we sure. did a distillery, then two wineries, wineries, and this is our third one. All right, so we're at Red Oak Winery, so. Hope it's tasty at the last one. <laughs> Finish up the wineries in the Sturgeon Bay area, at least for the day. And now we are headed back to the Algoma area and see what we can find there. Well, good morning. It is now Wednesday morning. We finished up last night at the Anape pronunciation, maybe, uh, brewery there in Algoma. Um, pretty neat little place but then we were all beat so we got home and uh or got back to the campground and got to bed pretty early so we had a good night's rest last night it rained most of the night but it has cleared up and it looks like it's gonna be a wonderful day and so we are heading north up into uh sister bay, sister bay and up into uh door county a little bit further and see what we can find up there One of the popular attractions in Sister Bay is Al Johnson's Swedish restaurant, which is most commonly recognized for the goats on the rooftop. However, the food isn't too shabby either. A little south of Sister Bay sits Peninsula State Park. Attractions within this park include Eagle Bluff Lighthouse and Eagle Tower. County for this bunch wouldn't be complete without visiting a few more wineries. Second winery of the day. Fifth of the week. <laughs> Fifth. <laughs> no, I would say it's uh, probably like more like tenth. <laughs> no, it's like I'll tell you. No, we this is the second one of the day. We did more than three the other day. Did, did but we not? did winery and we silver. Oh, that's Those right. We did, that's right. Uh, and, oh my God, do you remember that? <clears throat> I'm impressed.
Thanks for watching and be sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss part two of this trip. Bye now.